Hello everyone, then I'll say with Action VFX. Our burning steel wool stock footage collection is extremely versatile and can be used in many different ways. So in this video, we are going to show you three examples of what you can do with this burning steel wool stock footage. I will be using After Effects in this video, but the assets and techniques are 100% applicable to any VFX compositing software. And of course, you can purchase the collection on our website. So let's get started. Okay, the first one is doing a reveal effect. In our collection, we have multiple kinds of burning clips, many of them showing the burning fire being ignited and sweeping across the frame. So this is perfect for doing motion graphics effects, like doing a title or logo reveal. And to do that is very simple. So here we have a composition with our logo or text layer. Make sure the logo has an alpha channel. So first, we want to create a duplicate of our logo layer with the top being named logo map. Then let's pick our asset. We have several of these ignition clips that would work well for creating a title reveal. For this, I'm going to pick this burning steel ignition number three. So let's put our asset below the logo mat layer and change the track mat to alpha mat. Then turn our steel wool to screen. And now we have our steel wool being cut out to the shape of the logo and it's burning on top of it. Now let's speed up the footage. So go to time stretch and change the percentage to 10%. However, because we are speeding it up really fast, we are losing the ignition part at the beginning. So let's get time remap and add a keyframe on where the ignition ends. And then move the keyframe that way we can stretch out and thus bring back the timeline that we skipped. Now I want to add extra pixels to the edge of the burning steel wool. So let's add refine hard mat to the logo layer and increase the shift edge, the contrast, and the feather. And then let's add color curve to the burning steel wool and create a contrast. And then let's pre-comp the burning steel wool and the logo mat together. Then change the blending mode of the pre-comp to screen. Then let's add some glow to the burning transition pre-comp. So now we want to animate the logo to appear alongside the burning steel wool. So let's create a solid, put it in between the burning wool pre-comp and our logo. Alpha mat our bottom logo to the solid mat and then create a mask. Animate it to follow the movement of the burning wool fire and then I added roughen edges to the matte layer to create more roughness under the burn transition. Lastly, we want to remove the leftovers fire at the middle of our logo. So let's go to the original burning steel wool layer and mask out the middle. And then animate it. Add some smoke from our gun smoke collection. And this is what we have. The second effects that you can do, which leans more towards sci-fi and fantasy genre, is creating a planet destruction effect. You can do this by turning the stock footage into texture for a burning terrain. So here I already have the main composition for our shot. Now let's create a new composition for our planet, make the resolution square. Then let's double click on ellipse tool here and we will create this circle shape layer. Scale it down a bit so it's not too close to the edge. And just like before, we will use this as a mat for our burning wool asset. So first, let's bring this burning steel ignition number four, then go to time stretch and slow it down by 200%, and then let's drag the timeline until we see our burning steel wool. And then put it below the shape layer and alpha mat our burning steel wool to it. Then I'm gonna add exposure, lower it just a touch, and also reduce the gamma a little bit. And then I'm gonna add another burning steel wool put it at the bottom, and then don't forget to turn the blending mode of the top one to add. And then I'm going to add curve to the new burning steel wool, make it contrast, and then get exposure and lower it down a bit. And then turn the blending mode to add. And then we want to duplicate the steel wool a couple more times to create more texture variation. And then pre-compose all those variants into one composition and then duplicate the circle shape and put it on top of our pre-comp and once again alpha mat our pre-comp to it. And then we want to create the mask on the pre-comp and animate the mask to follow the steel wool ignition. 
then I want to make a bit of a glow at the edge of the planet, as if the fire from the planet is accumulating at the atmosphere. So duplicate both the pre-comp and the shape map, and then let's go inside the new shape map, and delete the fill. Then go inside the stroke and increase the width. So now we have our layer alpha matting to the edges of the screen. And then add fast blur on both the mat and the pre-comp. And then reduce the opacity a little. And now we have a bit of a glow at the edge of the planet. So now let's create a terrain on the planet's surface. So create a new solid and name it fractal. And then put it at the bottom and add fractal noise. This will be our texture for the planet. Then add CC sphere effects and scale up the sphere radius until it matches with the radius of our burning steel wool. And then increase the light intensity and the light height until it covers up most of our planet. On the shading, reduce the ambient, specularity, and roughness until we have our planet barely showing its texture. And this is what we have. So next, we want to go back to the previous composition and drag in our planet precom that we just made. Position it on the sky and then turn the blending mode to screen and then add some camera blur because it is really far away and then create a new adjustment layer and add some glow. For this, I am using Boris FX Ultra Glow plugin and then add some color grading to the shot and we have our burning planet. Now, just because the title is burning steel wool doesn't mean the effect has to revolve around fire. For example, we can use the stock footage to create a cool looking force field effect. Once again, this is very simple to do. So here I have this shot of a person looking into the horizon. For this, I am using burning steel ignition close number one. To get rid of the black background, I usually just change the blending mode to add, but for this one, I'm going to use unmold effects from Red Giant. And now the background is gone, leaving only the sparks. Next, let's change the color of the steel wool by using hue and saturation. And we want to change the hue to something more sci-fi, like green. And then let's create a green solid, change the blending mode to hue, put it below our steel wool, and now we want to mask the green solid and animate the mask path so it follows the burning animation. Now let's create another solid, name it fractal, put it at the bottom, and then add fractal noise. And then let's play around with the setting. We are basically creating a noise texture for our force field. And then let's animate the noise evolution by adding expression time times 105, alpha mat our fractal to the green solid, and then change the blending mode to add. Reduce the opacity, and then turn on the green solid again. Then we're gonna motion track the shot. So I'm going to track these two points at the back there, and then import the tracking data to a null. And then we want to parent our solids to the burning steel wool layer, and then parent the burning steel wool layer to the tracking null. And then bring back the foreground elements, which I already have a separate layer here, add some camera blur and glow, and this is what we have. And that was three VFX that you can do with our burning steel wool stock footage collection. Let us know in the comment section below how you are going to use this collection, or if you want to see more in-depth tutorial for each of these effects. And don't forget, if you want to purchase this Burning Steel Wool collection, you can check out our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high-quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library, and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.